good afternoon more medic one today uh, this I just got a little something to talk about here uh, if you go to buy a new lawnmower or a newer mower and they're rated in gross foot pounds of torque see this is a 550 series Briggs and Stratton engine it's 5.50 foot pounds of torque nowhere on the machine or on the engine does it give a horsepower rating uh, Briggs and Stratton, Tecumseh, Kohler, all the manufacturers uh, got in a class action lawsuit about horsepower ratings. And I could remember back in the early 2000s, 99, somewhere in there, you'd buy a short block for a Briggs and Stratton uh, rider engine. And in the short block would come with five or six different stickers that you slapped on the, uh, the blower shroud to uh, cover up the horsepower you could put whatever horsepower you wanted from a 12 all the way up to a 20 it was the same block the only difference was it had you know different uh, ignition or carburation to make the different horsepowers but I'm going to show you a little uh, uh, a formula that you can use when you go to buy an engine that's rated in gross torque and let me show you how to do that what I like to use, this was actually the formula that I got from the four-day school at the Briggs & Stratton uh, school that I went to last year. Uh, you take the RPM of the engine, which is about somewhere around 33 to 3400. You're going to times that by your torque, which was 5.50, divided by 5250. And if you look, that's about 3.5 horsepower, which is the old, old horsepower rating of that old... Uh, quantum. Oh, your lawnmower's broke. You want, you want me to fix it? Sure do. Sure do. But anyway, um, if you have any questions on how to uh, convert the torque to horsepower, just take the RPM times your torque divided by 5250, and that should give you your horsepower. Let me know. More Medic 1. Y'all have a good day.